Hello, I'm Chuck Long, and on this edition of the Entertainment Outlook, Nashville author Greg Howard has written one of the most buzzed about releases of 2019, The Whispers. It's his middle grade debut and has been called a heart-rending coming-of-age tale, perfect for fans of Bridge to Terabithia and Counting by Sevens. Publishers Weekly adds, this touching, often wry novel offers a memorable psychological puzzle and explores grief and acceptance. It is one of the best books I've ever read. I'm just going to put that right out front. Wow. Greg, I'm so excited that you're here. I'm so excited to be here. Oh my gosh, so much to talk about, so little time to do it, so I want to jump right in. But uh, like I've told you, I'm a huge fan of middle grade books. And if people are just saying, what's middle grade? You know, Wrinkle in Time, Richard Terabithia, Charlotte's Web, The Giver, so many of the books that, that uh, you know, win the Newbery Award, right, that's right. middle grade. So that's what this is. So ages 10 and up, but, but adults love these books too. Right, right. This is one, I'm just telling you right now, you have to read it. It really is. I read it three times. Um, you know, I cried through a lot of it. It's the first very time touching. like a year ago, right? Yeah, exactly. Wow. So, okay. It's just incredible. I've got to ask you, like, what prompted you to write this? Because it's a little different genre than you've written for before. Right. Uh, with my other two books, completely different genre. I didn't really set out to write a middle grade book, but I wanted to write about my experience when I was a kid. Uh, my mom died when I was five years old, and the, the trauma surrounding that was very um, real for, especially for a young gay boy who was a mama's boy, you know, and your mama's gone, you're kind of left alone in the world. So I just wanted to write about how I kind of escaped into my imagination um, during that time in my life. Well, one thing that was, was really interesting, you being a friend, um, I was able to watch a lot of this happen as this book uh, came to be. Uh, you're writing it, you, you know, you're, you're scheduled for doing that. Once you got it written, um, your agent, you know, of course, then talks to the different publishing houses. There was a big auction for this, like five of the yeah. major publishing houses, they were all bidding on this. How did that work? Well, I mean, she sent it out, and uh -huh. after I sweated for about three months, <laughs> and like, what's going on, what's going on? Then they started coming in. When one comes in, then the other comes in, and it was from Scholastic and Penguin and Simon and Schuster and all the big ones. Um, they just wanted it, and it, it became kind of a frenzied little auction for like two days, and then we had to kind of make our decision about where to go. And Penguin Random House, uh, the Putnam imprint is where it landed. I'm so happy with that. Yeah, oh, it, it's very exciting. So, and, and, I, and I can't tell you, like I said, when I read this book, um, and, and I think anybody who reads this, straight, gay, uh, you know, from all walks of life, um, it's so touching, it's funny, uh, it's a journey. Kind of set it up, but there's a lot we can't tell because you don't, you don't want to give away too much. Well, you want to let the reader go on the journey. Right, it is a mystery. Um, but it's set in the country in South Carolina. Uh, like I said, Riley is 11 years old. He's a gay boy. His mother has gone missing, and he's trying to find her. The police can't find her. She, um, he feels like he's becoming a suspect in her disappearance because he can't remember what happened. So he decides to set out and find her on his own. And to do that, he seeks out these mythical wood creatures called the Whispers, which comes from a story his mother used to tell him every night before they went to, before they went to bed. So he sets off to find the Whispers who are gonna help him find his mother, and it's about his journey to find her. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention was uh, Barnes & Noble, um, they just came out with their amazing diverse middle grade fantasies, and they say in there, is it too soon to start talking about 2019 books? Because The Whispers needs to be on every reading list of kids who love Bridge to Terabithia and Counting by Sevens, which we you know, talked about in the open. Uh, Riley believes in magical fairies that grant wishes if you leave them tributes. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a book you gotta read. I want you to kind of share one of your favorite okay. passages, if you would, because it's just, it's written so well. I so chose a magical. passage from the beginning, uh, near the beginning of the book in the chapter called Pentecostal Corn Choir. And this is from Riley's perspective when he's out in the yard wishing his mother were there. As I step down onto the grass, the warm glow of the setting sun blankets my face and a bully of a breeze comes out of nowhere, shoving me back. I hold up my hand, letting the honeysuckle scented wind weave through my fingers like I do with mama sometimes. But tonight, it's like I'm trying to feel what direction she's in, as if the wind could tell me. It's that dimly lit sliver of the day when anything is possible. So why not look for magic? Why not hope? Mm. I tell you, and, and that's just the, the beginning of so much magical that happens in this. Uh, wanted to mention too, look, here's some of the things that some of the other authors who are in this genre too. Uh, I love this from Brooks Benjamin, author of My Seventh Grade Life in Tights. This book is a reassuring hug for any kid who's had to grow up a little too fast. It's a reminder that magic is never more than a light breeze away. It's a story full of hope. Um, uh, 
so many great things. I want to make sure we've got a big book launch event yes, that's going to yes. happen at Parnassus Books, which we love. And I'm honored. I'm going to be hosting that yes, event. And we're going to be having a more of a conversation about it. <laughs> exactly. So there it is on your screen right there, the Whispers book launch event. Write this on your calendars with author Greg Howard. That is Tuesday, January 15th, 2019, 630 p.m. at Parnassus Books right here in Nashville. For more information, you can go to ParnassusBooks.net. And for more info on Greg, all you have to do is visit Greg Howard Books. Dot com. So that is coming up. Please join us for that. It's going to be a, a really fun it's event. Be fun. Uh, we've got about a minute left. So you've also got a book tour. So tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, right after I leave the Parnassus event, I go down to Decatur, Georgia, and I'm having an event with Becky Albertalli, who wrote uh, the book that Love, Simon was based on. And then I head off to Knoxville and Chattanooga and Asheville and Charlotte and Lexington. I'll be with David Arnold in Lexington, who wrote Mosquito Land. So it's exciting. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. it. It's great watching everything happen to you. And, and, and you've certainly earned all of these accolades, Greg. So you've worked hard at writing. Uh, I've watched you, you, you write. And, and I tell you, it's just it's really magical what you've come up with. And so I just want to say again, the book is The Whispers. Get it. It should be on your must reading list for 2019. Come see us at Parnassus. Yes, we'll uh, have fun. It's yeah, gonna be exactly. Fun. It's going to be fun. January 15th. So good seeing you as Great. always. Thanks for having come me. Come back when the next one's ready. I will. Okay, that's all the time we have for this edition. Happy holidays. We'll see you on the next Out and About Today.